to though. I heard we got a new what was that Ubisoft game? Skull and Bones gameplay reveal trailer. Let's take a look at this, guys. Nine hours ago. There's GameSpot. Here's the official trailer nine hours ago. I haven't seen this yet, so no spoilers, please. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's watch it on the official Ubisoft channel. Oh, this is an hour? An hour long? Whoa, bro. I don't stream that long. Whoa, this is long. Okay, so let's get the let's get the quick preview. Let's get the trailer and then we'll maybe skip through the other one. Alright, here we go. Society has rules. It decides where you belong. And what you're worth. But you... You can chart a new course. Hell yeah! Even when death seems a certainty, do not give up. On the shores of a new world, you awaken. I awaken! Bro, it looks cool. But this is all, this is the More gameplay, so we got to go look at the gameplay in a second. To carve a life of your choice. Oh! We built a little boat. Fighting under our oh, own flag. Oh, so the boat's like you upgrade them and get them bigger and bigger? Hell yeah, we take more guard. Fuck yeah! Together, we will take on the world. Society may have rules, but today, you decide where you belong and what you're worth. choose. Will you live as pawns or die as pirates? Die as a pirate, bro! Fuck yeah! Die as a pirate. Show me this gameplay. What is this bullshit? Infamous pirate. The best chance of success while they're out. Pirate. Okay, First look at the that. new Skull and Bones, and it looks like things have changed quite a bit. What can you tell us about this new direction? Yes, our team has been working really hard, and we are so proud to present what you see in the game today. Forget everything you know about the traditional pirate fantasy. Skull and Bones is taking a darker, grittier approach with our new game direction. We wanted to reimagine what pirates were really like, drawing inspiration Bro, from that's the Indian a cool Ocean set. during the golden age of piracy. I'll build a set like that. So you that start as a survivor for my podcast, bro. Right, washed up on an unknown, mysterious, See that fucking set, guys. We need money so we can build that set. Look at that shit. We'll do a podcast. Vanessa, see out. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, yourself. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Shut up. And allow you show to me. craft new ships, different weapons, different Okay, MC, tell me. Pirate I, I, I like violent storms, pirate hunters, powerful corporations, and even the mutiny of your very own crew. So every time you set sail... What do you mean corporations? There were no corporations back then. You fought the state and the fucking church. It's unrealistic. Throw it in the garbage. It's going to be an unpredictable experience. 
Mutiny? Okay, okay, I'm making a note right now. Keep the crew happy. Mm -hmm. right. But Ryan, obviously a pirate is nothing without their ship. How do we go about building our fleet? True. Well, Skull and Bones is an open world, or more aptly, open sea pirate experience. Right? I mean, they are corporations. So corporation is just a new version. Well, the government's ship, the new church. The Dow, a basic spear in order to defend off this wildlife that's coming after you. Nation and state really, is as just you progress, you'll need to collect the medieval you find church in the world and gather them on as crack. you do contracts for the pirates you come across. Doing that will grow your infamy, which will give you access to new blueprints. Fuck yeah, and designs, that's what I want. And allow you to craft new ships, different weapons, different armors, and that's how you build your fleet in the game, Yusuf. So eventually, you'll be able to rule the seas. Okay, I like that. Building my fleet, ruling the seas, sign me up for that. I want that. I want the thundering cannons, sinking ships, the whole nine yards. But, you know, between us, give, sure. me, give me the insider tips here. How do I make sure I'm the most feared pirate on the ocean? Oh, uh, well, I mean, the. The short answer is just to get good at the game, Yusuf. But I mean, but really, uh, seriously, the naval combat is at the core of Skull right, and Bones pirate experience, right? And we aim to have best in class that, well, naval combat. All right, I'll give it so to you. We I'll give it to you. I'm fast wrong. Fast paced, rewarding. And we why do does that. this Part have? The way we do that is to. Why does this have negative? Or why does this have 4.7 or 4,700 uh, downvotes? Why are the comments turned off? What controversial hell did we run into, my friends? Offer the player a wide variety of different weapon choices, which you unlock through infamy. So you've seen- <laughs> It's really not a good sign, and I don't know why yet. <laughs> Cannons, for instance, but we also have Greek fire. We People were really mad about that corporation's comment. <laughs> explosive mortars. We have bombards that you can lob onto the decks of the enemy players and sink their ships. And that'll allow our players the creativity to combine different weapon types, different armor types, and different ship types to give them the best chance Dude, of success. That sounds fucking dope pirating. to me. So the Greek fire that you just mentioned is actually pretty cool. So with leather armor, you know. Okay. Gameplay trailer, let's go! Welcome right. to Skull and Bones. Thank Our you. game takes place during the golden age of piracy in a world inspired by the beautiful yet dangerous Indian Ocean. Oh, it's the Indian You'll start Ocean. your journey as an All outcast. Right, whose amigos. goal is to become the most infamous pirate to sail these treacherous waters. After surviving a shipwreck, you begin your adventure in Saint this Anne, are right here. one of the pirate dens in them. our world. Dens are centers of pirate activity, where you can craft new ships and equipment, provision for your expeditions at sea, pick up contracts, and socialize with other players. Any pirate worth their salt will tell you that preparation is key to success. Get ready for any challenges that come your way by checking that your cargo is stocked oh, no. with items like food and ammunition. Once you're set, it's time to head out and explore. As a rookie pirate, you'll only have access to a small dhow. But as you progress, you'll be able to craft different ships, each with their own unique playstyle. At sea, you'll need to pay close attention to the condition of your ship and the morale of your crew. Your crew are a pack of vicious raiders and rovers who will mutiny against you if not kept well-fed and happy. If your ship sinks, you'll lose some progress and respawn at the nearest discovered den or outpost. The good news is that most of your cargo will be recovered and you'll have the opportunity to retrieve the rest from the wreckage. But you'd better be quick, as other players can also okay. steal it. There's the multiplayer. You can be whatever you want to be. As a pirate captain, your reputation is everything, and our game tracks this through infamy. The higher your infamy, the more opportunities you'll get. One of the many ways to grow your infamy is to take up contracts. These are deals that you can make with other pirates in the world. Contracts can have great rewards if you're successful, or costs if you fail. You can also gain infamy by completing other activities, such as exploration, plundering, treasure hunts, investigations, dynamic events, 
and much more. You can undertake these either solo or with other players. The world of Skull and Bones is filled with riches and resources that you'll be able to gather as you explore. Lagoons and rivers are teeming with dangerous that wildlife that you can hunt for animal skins and meat. Okay. You'll also be able to harvest a variety of raw materials, such as ore and wood, that can be refined and used for crafting. graphics kind of look bad, though. <laughs> crafting is an essential activity for you to progress as an infamous pirate. Obtain blueprints and use your refined resources to craft stronger ships, weapons, and armors. In Skull and Bones, ships serve many different purposes. Cargo ships are slower, but useful if you need to transport large volumes of loot. Navigation ships sail faster, but have less cargo space and lower hull HP. Firepower ships have more Hell gun yeah. points, allowing you to deal oh, higher damage, ship. but are more challenging to maneuver. Similarly, you can craft a wide array of unique weapons and armors, from Greek fires oh, to giant cool. ballistae to rocket launchers and mortars, as well as different armor Boom. types, which have varying strengths and weaknesses against incoming attacks. With your new fleet and growing arsenal, create a loadout based on your personal playstyle to become a force of destruction. Out in the open ocean, opportunities and threats are abundant. Use your spyglass to identify lucrative trade routes or wealthy merchant ships and assess your prey's cargo and firepower. Strategize a plan of attack based on your opponent's defenses and take advantage of their weak points to deal more damage. Sinking your foes from afar rewards you with only a portion of their cargo, as some of it will be lost to the depths. Oh, I think Getting I in close them. to execute a boarding maneuver will help maximize your gains. But beware, you can turn from predator to prey in a heartbeat if you attract the unwanted attention of privateers, the merciless pirate hunters that patrol the seas. If you enjoy the Dude, thrill in of multiplayer, the hunt, can you, you can also to seek be... out other players and rain uh, terror on them. I kind of wish PvP they did like a need for speed hopper suit thing, can be rewarding and you could like you emerge choose a side. You know what I mean? From your spoils That'd of battle, personalize your individual look with outfits that command. Nobody cares. I'm so fucking tired of customization that you're gonna sell me you in a store. You can also select from a multitude of ship customization options to instill fear. I don't even buy them anymore. I just run enemies. around as the default in every game. <laughs> like, uh, it's just, unless you can with earn the wind it in, your in sails, game, I don't want it. Journey to the furthest reaches of the Indian Ocean, from the coast of Africa. To the east. I don't Indies. want it. Encounter extreme weather events like violent storms and monstrous road waves. Whoa, that looks cool. Send out an SOS call. Keep your eyes call. peeled for outposts, which are safe spots where you'll be able to dock your ship for a short rest from the perilous seas. Here, you can trade with traveling merchants and clandestine yeah, I mean, smugglers. Yeah, because I smell a lot of microtransactions in this game. Uncover this buried NFT bounties game, at but it's outposts be... <laughs> as you decipher treasure maps obtained through your voyages. It's, it's... Although all the content in Skull and Bones can be done solo, you might enjoy ruling the seas with your it's friends. It's going to cost a While lot of sailing, money to get you everything. You can also easily invite other pirates you encounter to group man. up. Synergize your different play styles, ships, and weapons to defeat deadlier enemies. As you grow stronger, Take on more difficult challenges, such as attacking forts and plundering settlements. And if you're bold enough, engage in dynamic events, like taking down heavily laden merchant ships and their fleet of warship escorts. Now, it's up to you to write your own story. Remember, there is no one path to That's follow, GTA no corn one liquor. way to play. The world of Skull and Bones is yours to discover. It looks pretty cool to me. What are people mad about? 
We're playing Skull and Bones. We are playing. We are actually playing Skull and Bones. So, um, we are going to take a contract, one of our quests, if you will, to go uh, basically help out the local faction here, the Rampa, against the the evil DMC, and we're going to uh, plunder one of their settlements. So I'm just rolling through the den here, full of different pirates, some other players. I'm just going to follow you for a bit. Okay. And I'm going to go to the carpenter here, and you can see by his name that he's got a contract available for me. So I'm going to check it out. Cool. Welcome, Captain. So get down, and we can. And this one's called Stephen's Oil Opus. And we're going to take that one. And that's going to send us to Plunder. Yeah. Like, or you can do that. I was going to do it through the. Uh, here we go. I'm too. I'm faster than you. Yes, I got it. Okay. We are. You. You should yep, get. Got it. All right. Cool. So yeah. I'll take the. I think I'm set up for the Brigantine, which is uh, one of our medium navigation ships. It's good for support. It's really fast and responsive. Well, I'll That's take that. I think stars, you're yeah. set up with the firepower, the big boy, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like I've got the flamethrower, the Greek fire on the front. Cool. I did. You did. I have, uh, okay. have wooden armor all over. So I've got cargo to give me enough space. Whoops. I've got... Uh, I've got... Uh, nice sails. There's a shore Fight. into the settlement. They're ravaging uh, the goods and commodities, and they're filling up a barge, which you can then loot at any time, and you can leave. And your job is to stay alive and take out any maybe reinforcements that come along or take out the towers along the, that, that are set up to defend the settlement. Um, as you can see, the Dutch here are so already on, ready with uh, a couple towers and a couple ships. So on the way back, we probably need to be careful because I think these are some of the other players. What? Doing some PvP over there. What's that? Oh, they're PvPing over yeah, there? Yeah, I think you, you passed right by them, okay. right? Okay, I, like I did. Ships. I did. I was focused on talking about the uh, <laughs> the plunder. Yeah, I was just worried because you're getting really close to them, and I was worried they started right, I'll wait till you you're in the area because you're... you're I would have loved if the PvPers just started you're, firing you're on them. So but I it looks like he's got close. the... They've so got way nicer probably what's going to happen is we're going we're gonna to see these all these nice little ships that are calmly parked here are going to uh all right i'm here are going to wake up when i so i, I can spyglass the um this is coming reinforcements come in i'm going to take out these towers first off yeah i'm aiming on the left tower for, okay know. oh he's got a big gun oh and i get the green arrow up and that tells me that i'm doing good damage against the stone here with my explosive mortars Boom. Oh. Oh boy. I'm gonna brace. Let's see if I can burn this one. Nice. I incoming incoming mortars my way, but I'm bracing the damage. We're okay. We're okay. Which one are you attacking? The merchant in front of me. Oh, you're taking out the ships. Okay. I'll try to take out this other tower. I think I have bombards on this side as well. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so the print throw is actually good. I'm gonna make good. short work of this guy. Nice. Oh, you get. It looks pretty fun. Burn! But they're trying to drag us out of the plunder roll. I don't know if it's intentional or not. I think not, some are uh, reinforcements coming in, and some are Dutch that are in the area, so they're not all going to come in. That's part of it. Oh, I got. Brace, brace, brace! I want to finish burning this one. I, got, I think I got out of the area. You didn't get back in time. I'm still. No, no, in. no. I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I got oh, out okay. of the uh, the mortar area. It's oh, very hit, similar nice. to Black two. Flag as yeah, far as the good. controls. I mean, yeah, there's surviving. a few more perspectives. We finish the whole. We get the the maximum coinage. It looks like you took out all of the uh, yeah, reinforcements. The, the last two are just like. Okay, so then they That's what happens when we. Uh, the dev testers hook you up with a with a and loadout. The... I mean, when you uh, progress <laughs> to this point yes. where you uh, I like the day-night day cycle. Oh, behind Slayer, you. yeah. 
Slayer got sank. Maybe he Slayer's was, another player, isn't he? Yeah, Slayer was another player. He was boarding me for sure. But I think he got sunk by the by the uh, the Dutch behind him. <laughs> I'm trying to catch I'm almost there. Oh, is there? I'm encumbered. No, I'm not encumbered. No. There you go. Yes. yes. Burn, Burn him. Burns. All right. We both made it back alive. We did. We made it. We got the contract done. Do you want to go look for some more trouble? Should we go? Uh, yeah. I'm just going to repair my ship. Okay. You can do that here. And um, yeah, then I'm ready to go again. All right. But yeah, but we, could, we could all be here, but of course we like to help the Rompa. I like their so office. Definitely a fog uh, rolled in. There is our like the two screens. Anyways, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know what the controversy is about. Why are the comments turned off? Skull and bones. <sighs> <laughs> crafting is an essential activity for you to progress as an infamous pirate. Does crafting really have to be so ubiquitous? <laughs> Ubisoft, ubiquitous. That was a good one. Uh, I'm not signed in. I give that an upvote. Microtransaction the game to hell. Yeah, they will. Isn't this a game where Ubisoft was literally forced to release something since they took subsidies from Singapore? There you go. That's the controversy. It's been in development for 10 years and it really, I mean, honestly, yes, the graphics and everything don't look that good. That's fair enough. Looks like it'll be microtransaction to hell. I'll give it a chance though.
I think it was sold to us as being able to originally to be able to uh, raid ships in first person and fight the other captains. That's what they said. Remember Fractal? Like early on, like you're going to be able to like, you'd have like a PVP session on their ship with their captain. And you could defend it. That was something that was supposed to happen. But it, it didn't, so. You know. Classic Ubisoft. Alright. 